Hey, learn audio engineering. In this video, I'll show you the differences between high and low impedance headphones so you can decide which is right for you and your home studio, whether you're focused on tracking instruments or mixing your own projects. The two headphones that I'll be using for this video are the Bayer Dynamic DT880, the 600 ohm audiophile model. These are made in Germany. They're made for mixing, not recording because they can cause feedback and they have less isolation than closebacks and the Sony MDR7506 Professional 63 ohm headphones. These feature more isolation than the open backs, which makes them ideal for tracking live instruments as they're quieter on the outside. But before we begin, I wanna know what kind of headphones are you using and what applications do you find they work for in the studio? Do you just use them for tracking or do you also mix on headphones? Let me know in the comments. So what is impedance? When we're talking about impedance, we're measuring ohms. And ohms is measured as the electrical resistance between two points of a conductor. So basically what this means is when we have a set of high impedance headphones, there's more resistance and it needs more voltage to be able to function properly. Whereas low impedance headphones have very low resistance and they can easily be powered with less voltage. And this is really the big difference between them. It matters what you're plugging them into. High impedance headphones are gonna work great in audio interfaces and dedicated headphone amps, where low impedance headphones are still gonna work great with that audio interface, but they're gonna give you a lot more volume. As you drive them up, you're gonna find that you're gonna find a comfortable level much quicker than you will with the high impedance headphones. In fact, here's a little snapshot of my two headphone outputs on my Claret unit, and you can see the one on the left is the high impedance one, and I have to drive it much farther to get the same output as I do with the low impedance headphones. So really what this means is if you buy a, a set of high impedance headphones, these ones are a massive 600 ohms, and you try and plug them into your phone or your computer or something, you're gonna notice that there's really not a lot of volume behind them because your portable device is not strong enough to give them the amount of power that they need to function at the same level as low impedance headphones. So taking low impedance headphones, you can take these anywhere, you can pretty much plug them into anything, and they're gonna work at maximum capacity. The next big difference between the two headphones is the amount of headroom. So low impedance headphones can be anywhere from around 35 to 40 ohms, whereas high impedance are anything around 250 ohms or above. And there is kind of a middle ground of around 100 ohms, which kind of give you the best of both worlds. You're gonna get some extra headroom while also being able to drive them to a comfortable level when you're recording something very loud like drums. Pairing this with a closed back design is gonna increase the isolation. The sound is just gonna go into your ears and it's not gonna bleed into the neighboring microphones. In the next video in this series, I'll share my experience trying $60,000 Orpheus open back headphones at the Sennheiser flagship store in Germany. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one.